Hey, what up everybody? This is Steven Breach coming to you here today. Normally on this channel, I don't like clicking on the stories that basically talk about the odds on favorite to win matches at pay-per-views. Um, I don't like knowing uh, the odds on favorites because a lot of times the odds on favorites are normally the guys who are going to win. I don't like knowing the uh, times of how long uh, matches are going to be getting on shows because it sort of leaves you sitting in a spot waiting uh, for when the finish is going to come, you know, if you're only a few minutes in and you see a big move, you're like, well, they're going to kick out because it is what it is. And, you know, sometimes they surprise you with long matches. Sometimes they surprise you with short matches and you just don't want to know what it's going to be before it is. And sometimes those things get out. Um, but uh, this uh, today uh, they, they've released the, uh, the the odds on favorites to win the 30 man Royal Rumble match at uh, the, the Royal Rumble this year. And the number one guy is. Triple H, um, you know, I'm surprised um, by looking at the uh, the odds on. It looks like there's a top four to win it all, which is Triple H followed by Roman Reigns, then Brock Lesnar, and then Bray Wyatt out of the middle of nowhere, which makes no sense to me. Bray Wyatt is is a hell of a character, but they have not no you know character development behind it. Maybe people thought by Bray Wyatt taking out um, Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns on the end of Monday Night Raw that they were you know sending a a message that they're trying to heat this guy up again. I, I just thought that they were trying to heat Bray Wyatt up for a feud against Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. Maybe Bray is going to want to beat the guy uh, who ended the streak, and maybe he'll you know gain some powers out of this. I don't know. Bray Wyatt ate Undertaker and Kane's souls and said that he now possessed their powers, and then you know lost a four-on-two match uh, at Survivor Series. So uh, I don't really know what to think of this, but it looks like everybody else is jumping on this Triple H bandwagon. Um, I, I don't want to say that I was the first one to think this, but I, I do want to say that the, the people who watched my video where I said that you know, Triple H was going to win the Rumble. That was the first thing that I thought when they put the championship on the line in the Royal Rumble. Um, that was my first thought was that Triple H really is going to win it. It, it sort of turned from a, a dream like I wish he would hold the championship one more time. I wish this is a way that they would set it up to saying, wow, this is really how they're going to do it. And on that video, people called me crazy and just thought that it, there's no way in the world that it would happen. Uh, but it seems like people are really behind Triple H winning this and uh, seeing what they can do. I mean, this is... Uh, this is going to be a big match at WrestleMania. It's the only one that you can really tell. And uh, for Triple H to have the championship and Roman Reigns have to come beat him for it, I think that's going to be um, a good match. And definitely, I think it's going to be something that people really get behind. Whether if it's how many people out there hate Triple H and just want to see somebody beat him. And if it's going to be Roman Reigns and they'll cheer for him, and maybe that's how they're putting it together, I'm not sure. But uh, at the 30-man Rumble... I'm not even sure it's going to be 30 men. I wouldn't be surprised if 30 guys come out and then the outcome is sort of pouring out in front of uh, the, the, the the outcome is, is out there in front of, um, you know, the Triple H is in the back. Triple H then just comes out to, to even the odds and he just ends up, you know, throwing somebody out. And because he's the guy who makes the rules, he can bend them and he can break them. And that's when he just says... Fuck it, I'm the winner. And, and that's where it sort of gets lost, and it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Uh, maybe he makes them announce him the winner or something like that, but I wouldn't be surprised if that's how Triple H becomes champ.